<laughs> hey, my wonderful friends. Here we go again with a fantastic Revit tip. All right. Today, truly. Now, sometimes when I say this is going to be a really quick Revit tip, I mistakenly say that because it goes half an hour. Sorry, this one is indeed going to be quick. We're going to talk about silhouettes. This came up because um, one guy I was working with said his boss looked at the elevations of his drawing and he said, you know what? You can't tell what's close and what's far and, and what's going on. And I know Revit has depth cueing built into it. That is crazy confusing. And actually doesn't look all that nice. Now, maybe some of you are really good at depth queuing and, and using that function, but I don't like it. I, hey, I don't like it. I use silhouettes to make the elevations pop like they're supposed to pop. Just like back in when we did hand drafting, we used to make the lines, we go over them two or three times while we're drawing these. Remember back in the day, there's some of you watching that actually do hand drafting or used to just like I did and we would take our pencil and we would go over the lines that had to be closer we would go over them a few times so that they popped out and it looked better so I'm going to show you how to do that in Reddit so here we go let me share my screen with you sharing my screen sharing my screen okay here we are in Reddit now let's just go to our um here's our here's our here's our little building this happens in 3d also but um i'm going to show you in the elevations how it works first so let's go like to the the front of this building is my south elevation and when i look at this thing it's kind of wimpy it's the line weights yes i've gone into object styles and i've set things to different line weights but it still doesn't pop it just doesn't Bam, it's not just jumping out at me like it's supposed to. So if you have a, what uh, I have a view template on this particular screen. And so what on this view, so this is my elevation and I've got a view template. I'm gonna turn off right here in the, um, in assigning a view template, I'm gonna set the view template to none on this view, okay? So that, if you don't have a view template, here's how you go about setting your silhouette. You would come down to the bottom where there's a little, looks like a little ice cube. It's the visual style button. And you click on that and don't pick a different visual style, but go all the way to the top where it says graphic display options. And when that pops up, it's behind my face. You gotta move it over here. Okay, right there in the middle, it says silhouettes. That's the outline around objects. And it's typically set to none, okay? And so on that drop down, you get to pick any line weight that's in your project. And if you don't have a line weight that you like to use or want to use, you can make a line weight. But this video doesn't show you how to make a line weight. This video shows you how to pick one of these and use it as a silhouette. Now, you can go overboard. If I said, if I want a number 10 line, I'm going to kill it. Look, oh, it's, it's, that's messed up right there, okay? That's a boundary line. I can say a, I'm gonna pick a um, smoke tight partition. Bam, oh man, that doesn't look right either. How about I pick an egress path? Solid, boom, okay. Now my, your boss is, or your project manager is gonna say, um, little too much. So, what I have found is you set it to like a four or five. Uh, and when I have, I have a line called four medium line and bam. Now look at that elevation. Uh, is that gorgeous or what? Objects that are closer to me pop out or anything actually that has an outline around it pops, okay? And not an outline, anything that is that has an edge, okay? where you can see past it, it pops. So it looks great and that was really quick. But if I go to my west elevation, it looks wimpy. You can't tell this surface is a lot closer than this other surface. So if you have a view template in, in your um, project, I'll show you how to do it. 
Oh, if you have a view template, you click on the view template that you have, okay? And right over here, you go to model display and click the edit button. And what you're gonna have is the same dialog box that you got before when you didn't have a view template. And there it is again, silhouettes. And I'm gonna set that to the same four. I'm gonna say apply. I'm just gonna say okay and okay. And now, Every single elevation view that is using this view template is popping like this. You can see the hard outline around stuff and it makes this visually a lot easier to see. Some people I've seen, they've clicked, like if you wanted this brick to fade off into the distance, you could, um, you could click on that if you want to. You can right click on it and you can say override the graphics of that object and you can make that um, that you could either turn off the surface pattern if you want to or make it lighter or make that half tone. You can make that particular wall fade into the distance. See, I just went half tone and look at how that one wall just like, woo. but I don't usually do that. I just leave stuff alone so that I let the silhouettes take care of what I'm talking about. So if I go to my north elevation, look at that. Bam, it's popping. The, this building, this piece right here pops out and this one is further back because it creates a nice hard line there. If I go back to my south, it's showing it because I set it down here because I turned off my view template. But if I switch my view template back on, switch it back on to building elevation and hit OK. It's now, this elevation is using the same view template that my other elevations are doing, or using. All right, I know you're not gonna believe it. It's under 10 minute video. I'm stuck at eight minutes right now. And I think I'm done. No, I'm not, I'm going to 3D. All right, let's go to the 3D view and I'll show you. If you're in 3D, you have the same option. This outline doesn't really pop all that well. It's not jumping out like it should in 3D. And I want the silhouettes even in 3D. It's the same thing. So I'm going to go to my view template that I have for this view. Model display. And it's set to none. So I'm going to bump it up. I'm going to give it the same. I'll give it a five and say, OK. And now look at that. Bam, it makes your 3D objects bounce, they pop out of the, of the page on, so that you can see things a little bit better. You'll see that the, the edge of the roof that is closer to us is darker than other lines that are near it. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how that works. Silhouettes are a powerful tool in Revit and a lot of people don't use them. So I hope that helps this very short, I actually did it. I did a short uh, Revit tip. What's up with that? All right, you guys have a fantastic day. Until we meet again, happy Reviting. Okay, bye-bye.